Brian McGill has been the face and voice of Zoo Miami. He's also known for his endless efforts on wildlife preservation. Well, today, the Zoo's communications director receives the ultimate birthday gift. And CBS4 photojournalist Rafael Murciano was there for the big surprise. Here, get down on your knees. <laughs> This was a total shock and surprise to me. Um, anybody who knows me knows that my passion is with conservation. It's helping people who do real conservation. Uh, Wildlife Rescue of Dade County, uh, run by Lloyd Brown, is one of the best conservation organizations I know of. They help rescue, rehabilitate, and release so many native wild animals here in Florida. I really was concerned about how am I going to get this vehicle for them, and I was wondering, were they able to find something in auction that I could afford? And that's when they told me to turn around and look at the door, and the door opened. And a, brand, and a brand new truck I drove through that door, all, all logoed out with the logos of the Wildlife Rescue, of the Romagill Conservation Endowment. And then my first thing was, I don't think I can afford that truck. And that's when Ms. Lori Bean said, you don't have to, it's yours. So she handed me the key on behalf of Romagill Conservation Endowment to pass over to the Wildlife Rescue of Dade County, to Lloyd Brown, who his organization has saved hundreds if not thousands of animals here in Dade County. Oh, this hawk came to us about three weeks ago. Uh, many of the hawks that we get are victims of rodenticide poisoning, where people indiscriminately use poison to kill rats and mice. And unfortunately, other animals eat those rats and mice after they've been poisoned. And for this bird's credit, uh, we were able to take care of it and uh, nurse it back to health and release it back to the wild today, where it should have been all along. Happy birthday!